Okay. Come in. Hi, I'm Charlene with the Ace Internet. Today I'm going to perform here provide privacy, bunk bed, and do some hand hygiene. Can I go ahead and verify your name and date of birth, please? Kylie Zayas, 411 2000. Okay, and do you have any allergies, latex, food, environmentals, or medications? Purple grapes. Purple grapes? Okay, what type of um, reaction do you have to that? I get a rash everywhere. A rash everywhere? Okay. And can you tell me your um, age? I'm 20. 20? Okay, and your occupation? Uh, none. Okay, <laughs> and your marital status? <laughs> a single is a Pringle. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. Um, and so, can you kind of explain to me what brought you in here today? Um, I have some knee pain. Some knee pain? Okay. Can you give me a rundown of what happened and from when you heard it to up until what brought you into the clinic? Um, I was running and then I hit like a hole and my knee's been hurting ever since. Okay. And um, did you fall? Uh, no, no, I just, I think I just caught myself off. Okay. And so can you kind of point to which part of your knee is hurting? Like right here. Okay. And is um, there anything that makes it worse or better? Um, no, not really. No? Are you taking, does walking make it worse? Um, not make it worse. It just, it shows the pain's there. Okay. And are you taking any medication for the pain? Uh, no, not yet. No? And how long ago did this happen? Um, about yesterday, I think. Yesterday? Okay. And um, what type of pain is it? Is it sharp, dull, achy? It's kind of achy. Achy? Yeah. Okay. And does it come and go or does it stay? Uh, it comes and goes. Comes and goes? Okay. And on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, um, can you rate your pain for me? Uh, like a 2. A 2? Okay. And does it prevent you from doing anything in your daily life? Uh, so far, running. Running? Okay. All right. Um... So I'm gonna ask you some of your um, history. So have you ever had any measles, mumps, or chicken pox? Uh, I had chicken pox. Okay, and what age were you when you had those? About nine months. Nine months, okay. And are you up to date with your vaccinations? Yes. Okay, and did you have your flu shot in the past year? Uh, yes, last October. Okay, perfect. And um, is there any allergies to latex, food, environmentals, or medication? Uh, or just, just purple? purple grapes. Okay, okay. Um, and, um, are your parents alive and well? Yes. Okay, and what ages are they? Um, my mom is 40 and my dad is 42. Okay, and do your family have any history of um, um, high blood pressure, cancer, or diabetes? Uh, diabetes and high blood pressure on my dad's side. On your dad's side, okay. Um, and um, what is the last year of education you've completed? Um, I'm on my third year of college. Third year of college? Okay, and um, your is your financials um up to par for your lifestyle? Probably not. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and is there any religious practices that you would like to inform me of? Um, I'm Christian. You're Christian. Okay. And is, does it um influence um how I could help you or treat you? No, not no. At all. Okay. And um, is there any self care behaviors that you'd like to inform me of? Uh, I like to shower. You like to shower. That's always a good one. Yeah. Okay. And can you inform me of some um, of your sleep patterns? How often or um, how long at night do you sleep? I sleep from like 10 to like 7, so like a good 10 hours. Okay, that's good. And do you feel <laughs> rested when you wake up? Most of the time. Most of the time. Okay. And can you go ahead and um, inform me, do you partake in any um, street drugs, alcohol, or um, tobacco use? I drink sometimes. Okay. Um, and... When you do drink, um, how many times a week is it? Three or four. Three or four times a week. And in in a drinking in a drinking day, um, how many drinks would you consume? Um, maybe two. Okay. And if indicated, um, we would do a case assessment. So I would ask, um, do you ever feel the need to cut cut down on your drinking? Uh, no. No. Do you get annoyed if anybody asks you about your drinking habits? Not really. No. Okay. And um, do you feel guilty about drinking? No. No. And do you ever need um to drink in the morning as an eye opener? No. No. Okay. Um, so um in the past two weeks, have you felt um the need? And some of these questions are gonna get personal. Um, let me know if you are uncomfortable. Um, but this is just a routine screening. Okay. Um, in the past two weeks, have you ever felt um hopeless, depressed? or um, 
Tell me. Um, no, not really. No? Okay, and in the past two weeks, have you um, ever found that you are finding little pleasure in doing things? Um, not really. No? Okay, and if um, indicated, we would do a PHQ-9 screening. Um, and if they indicated yes to any of the questions above, I would ask, um, do you feel like your life is, do you ever feel like your life is not worth living? No. Do you have any plans on harming yourself? No. Oh, okay. Um, and because domestic violence is so um, prominent in our society, we go ahead and ask everybody these questions. Um, do you feel safe at home? Yes. Yes? Okay. And has your partner ever punched, hit, kicked, or slapped you? No. No? Okay. And has your partner ever forced you into having sex? No. Okay. And um, are you afraid of your partner? No. No? Okay. If indicated, we would do um, a danger assessment. Um, so now I'm going to um, assess the patient's um, mental status. So the patient is, um, the patient's body is erect, the body movements are fluid, um, the patient's um, dressing is appropriate for the weather, and the patient's hygiene is up to standard. Um, the patient is making sense, um, the patient is not suicidal, um, the patient is alert and their speech is not slurred, and um, they are making sense, they're oriented to the time, place, um, and who they are. Um, and can you go ahead and tell me the second month of the year? Uh, February. Okay. And can you um, tell me who the current president is? Joe Biden. Okay. Um, all right. So now we're going to move on to vitals. Okay. I'm going to start by taking your pulse, okay? Okay. So um, your respirations were within normal range between 12 and 20, they were 14, um, and then your pulse was between normal range of 60 to 100, um, and your pulses were 80. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and take your temperature and your um, oxygen saturation. Okay, I'm going to make sure to clean this and wipe it. Mm -hmm. Can I see your index finger? I would make sure that the patient does not have any nail polish or um, any artificial nails on their fingers. You can go ahead and relax. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to... I'm going to take your temperature, okay? Um, if I could have you take your mask off and open your mouth and lift your tongue. Okay. And would you mind holding this for me? All right. So your um, oxygen saturation is... Uh, 97, which is in the normal range of 95 to 100%. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And your um, temperature is 98.9, uh, which is in the normal range, which is in the normal range of um, 96.8 to 100.4. Okay, now I'm going to start the first part of your blood pressure. Have you, so sorry. Have you had any surgeries that would affect, or um, any any medical conditions that would affect me taking your blood pressure on this arm? No. Okay. Do you have a preference in arm? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate for the surgery. Do you need a pillow or are you comfortable like this? Oh, no, I'm okay. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so I'll take go away about 120. All right, and I'm gonna let your arm rest. You can go ahead and just relax for a minute. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and, is there any other um, pain that you would like to address with me? Um, uh, yeah, I had an ear pain. An ear pain, okay. Um, and can you, is it on the inside of your ear or the outside of your ear? It's like inside. Inside, okay. And um, is it sharp, dull, achy? Yeah, dull. Dull, okay. And does it come and go or is it constant? Um, it comes and goes. It's not constant. Okay. Um, and is there anything that makes it worse or better? No. No? Are you taking any medications? No. No? And on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, um, can you rate your pain for me? It's maybe a 1. Maybe a 1? Okay. Yeah, it's so not, not too bad. Okay. And does it affect anything in your daily life? Not at all. No? Okay. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and finish um, the rest of your blood pressure, okay? Does your arm feel okay? Yep. Okay. Let me know if it hurts any and I will I will stop, okay? okay. All right, go ahead and relax your arm. Oops. Okay, I heard it at um, 120 over um, 78, which is in the normal limits of less than 120 over less than 80. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from you, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to stand up. We're going to um, be weighing you. Okay. Um, and would you like to... Um, See your weight. If not, we can go ahead and turn you around. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. So if I can go ahead and have you stand up on here. All right. Okay, this is saying that the patient weighs um, 126. But because this isn't calibrated right, the patient says that they weigh 150. Um, if I can go ahead and have you just step off for a second, we're going to go ahead and take your weight, or I mean your height. Okay, and if you could turn around for me. Yeah, going to go ahead and measure the patient's um, waist circumference and I'm going to go around the um, top of the iliac um, first. All right. So sorry, this is going to get a little personal. Okay. We are at 34 inches. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and calculate the patient's BMI. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. You can go ahead and sit down. I'm just going to calculate your BMI, okay? Okay. BMI is 25.3. Okay, um, now I'm going to be um, starting a head to toe assessment. I'm going to start at your head um, and work my way down. If you feel any pain or you are uncomfortable at any point in time, just let me know, okay? Okay, okay so I'm going to first start by assessing the patient's head first by noting um, that it is proportionate to the patient's size. Um, do you feel any pain? Not at all. No? Okay, I do not know any um, bumps or lesions or 
um, depressions or anything in the school. Um, and then um, I am gonna ask you to remove your mask for me real quick. Um, and I'm gonna ask the patient to smile. Okay, so the nasolabial folds are symmetrical as well as the corners of the mouth. Um, and then the patient's neck is erect and in the midline. Can I have you go ahead and look to your left for me? Turn, yeah, turn your whole head to the left and then turn your whole head to the right. Okay, and now look up to the ceiling and then bring your chin to your chest and then bring your left ear to your shoulder and bring your right ear to your shoulder. Okay, I do not note any um, decrease in range of motion. Um, okay, so then now I'm going to start with um, your eyes. So your eyebrows are symmetrical. Your um, eyes are um, in the correct position. They are not exothalamus, which is protruding, or endothalamus, which is sunken in. Um, can I have you blink for me? The patient is able to shut their eyes completely. There is no redness or swelling around the lash line and the lashes are evenly distributed. This, um, the sclera is white and glossy and the conjunctiva is pink. Do not know any um, discharge. And then um, the patient's um, lips are pink with um, no drying. Can I have you stick your tongue out for me? Okay, I do not know any, um, the patient's tongue is moist. There's no lesions or anything, um, white patches on the tongue. Um, and then the patient's um, ears are bilaterally symmetrical. Um, I do not note any um, thickness or redness or swelling around the ears. The skin is intact. There's no lesions or bumps. Um, and um, the, um, the hole is, um, is appropriate in size for the patient's body. And um, I'm going to be feeling around. Okay, let me know if you feel any pain. I'm going to do this okay. side and then this side. Okay. Do you feel any pain back here? No. No? Any pain when I push here? No. No? And any pain when I move? No. No? Okay, and let's do this side. Any pain when I push here? No. Any pain when I move there? No. Okay. Any pain when I push there? No. No? Okay, and I do not notice any um, cerebrum. And then if there was any, um, I would note the color and texture of it. Um, and, and the nose is in the midline. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, and so now I'm going to um, assess the hair is um, evenly distributed. There, it is smooth. It's not dry and brittle. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and assess the skin. Okay. Um, if I could have you pull up your sleeves for me. And is there any, um, is there any um, wounds or lesions that you know of, that you're aware of, that you'd like me to inspect? No. No? Okay, and I would do a full skin assessment on the patient and make sure to check, especially their back or areas that they cannot see. Um, and okay, so I'm gonna, the pigmentation of the person is um, appropriate for their genetic background. I'm gonna go ahead and assess for temperature. Okay, the patient is warm um, bilaterally. There is no hypothermia or hyperthermia. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and assess your nails. Can I see your hands? Okay, so the patient's nails are smooth and there is um, no apparent biting to the quick. I'm gonna check your capillary refill. Okay, okay. and the capillary refill is less than two seconds. Um, and then I'm gonna check for edema. Okay, I don't know any edema. Um, if there was any, plus one is mild, plus two is moderate, plus three is deep, plus four is very deep. Um, and then I would make sure to check edema on the legs as well. Okay, I don't know any, note any edema on the legs. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do um, an eye assessment, okay? I'm gonna have you stand up um, 20 feet away from the smell and chart, which is on this back wall over here. Okay, I'm gonna have you go ahead and um, close one eye for, or cover one eye for me. Okay, and can you go ahead and read the smallest line that you think you can read? Uh, three. 
Tapi tinggal dulu ya depan ya. Okay, and go ahead and cover the other eye for me. And what's the small sign you think you can read? Seven. Seven? Okay, can you read it for me? S-E-L-O-P-U-D. All right, and can you go ahead and read them now with both eyes open? Um, okay, and um, the patient is not leaning forward, squinting, um, or anything along those lines. Um, and if the patient was um, less than a 20 over 30 um, on their vision score, we would, um, refer, I would refer them to an ophthalmologist. Okay, you can go ahead and sit down for me. Okay. 